Okay, last week, what happened to your tart? Break all. Yeah. All that in the mood, right? Yeah. I told you so many times, if you're not happy, go have first, drink some water, and calm down. Don't dig <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. sleep early. Ah, ah, ah. Be happy. Be, be Can I sleep early? Products. With loud. <laughs> With hard lips. Yeah, because it affects your product as well. Yeah. If you're in the bad mood, yeah. If you really cannot make it. Pero ano pag nalimutan ng isang ingredients? Of course, if your ingredients one is missing, then. Hindi pwede pa silip. Pwede picturean siya, tapos si yung cellphone patago gan. Right, memorize okay. No. They they will turn on the camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I can do Can they be blind? Yeah, the the today, the 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 you can do it after clue which one you need to do your remarks. You need to ask you. Chef, what is your recipe? It's not my recipe. What I need to do is read your recipe, then I go to your, I'm going to your table and ask you, give me your Procedure. I need to uh, take some writing. My toilet break, ah, right? Yeah, take some writing. It's from this one until the end. Ah. Ah. You just need to write down the I'm a soft and Chef Gladys and Chef Bolo will go to your table and ask some questions. Okay? Mm -hmm. Better be prepared and make sure you know your procedures. And you know, all those gluttony ladies. I thought you're going to come help us. I can help you when you need it too. But most of the time, I will just sit down. Hello? Who? Your example. Okay. Okay. Ready? And savory feeling spice and tarts. Do I need to read the lesson of Japanese? Please don't need, right? No, no, no. Okay. Pies and tarts. Pies are composed of sweet or savory fillings in baked rice and generally made in round, slope sided pans. You see your tart pans, right? Mm -hmm. There's like all those rings on the sides. Mm -hmm. And tarts are similar, expected. They are made in shallow, straight sided pans. Okay. Pies and tarts can be savory. That means you can do chicken pie. Or you can apple sweet, pie. tart, sweet, apple pie, apple, apple pie, pie, apple pie, coconut pie. pie, no, sugar <laughs> spice, <laughs> sugar <laughs> spice. <laughs> 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 so you exam natin nga from the beginning. Mas puti ito lang yun. Okay, your types of uh, crust. You have your here the column, right? You have your dough, the French cream, the characteristics of the baking and use. For your dough, for flaky dough, patty breeze, for it French, and then the a characteristic of that when you're making it is very flaky and not sweet. And it's used for the uh, pre-baked pie shells, pie fat crust. When you make your chicken pie, you have that pie, pie crust on top, right? Yes. Okay, for mealy dough, mealy dough, um, your pear tart and your basic. That's your mini dough. Your tart. Remember? You use yeah. almond. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> the, the, French, nice. Oh, the, the French name is the same, Patty Breeze. And it's moderately flaky and not sweet as well. And uh, you can use this one with the pasta cream or fruit pie, crust or quiche. You know your quiche? The egg. Ang basa ko dito quits. Quits. This is quiche. Q U I C H E. At least ano sa ko. Our French name is pati sofre. And very rich, crisp, crispy, not flaky. The um your fruit tart. Tart and tartlet shells, the small ones. For the uses of the the short bread tart is. This one is remember the one we use the desiccated coconut. Yeah. yeah. Last week. Okay, this is the one, the shortbread tart. And pate sablé. Sablé is different from all the tarts. 
Sable. If, if you remember in your recipe today, there's sable in there. In our recipe? Yes. Uh, it shows that you all never read the recipe. In our recipe. <laughs> okay, this one is very rich, fragile, and not flaky, and uh, used for tart and tartlet shells for, and for cookies. So our cappuccino cheesecake, mm -hmm. the base of that one is shortbread bread. So later we're going to bake the tarts and put the cappuccino cheesecake on top. We have to decorate it with chocolate and let, uh, remind me, I brought my coffee beans. Oh chef, hindi pa namin na bake yung bread ng ano namin. Tart ng cheese namin. But it's very fast. Okay, types of ingredients, fat, butter, margarine, or shortening, flour, plain, or cake flour. For liquid, we have our eggs or water, and sugar, and salt. And mixing method, we have for biscuit, or wrapping method for cake and then dough. Remember, there's a tart that you have to cut, then you have to press it with your pen. Pam. And the creamy method for your fruit tart also, the cream, the butter, then add the sugar, then your eggs and flour. Okay? <coughs> and the type of fat, uh, fat effects, affects dough, flavor, and flakiness. If you're using more rich butter, like French butter, it's more uh, rich in flavor. And a bit slight salted. Yeah, you have to try it. It's different when our no our butter here is the yeah, yeah. no the brand of our butter buttercup yes. okay buttercup is different from all those yuri the French one yes. you can you can the taste is different yeah yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Price the price is different and the price, price also is different but the cream butter is Buttercup is Because buttercup is mostly from margarine. Okay, flaky pie dough is made by cutting part into large uh, regular pieces. That means your butter you have to cut a uh, big size, but square. Lily pie dough is made by cutting and rubbing fat into flour. You have to cut, then you have to use your fingers. Mm. Okay? You still remember that from yeah, your basic? Yeah, basic? If you forget, I don't forget. I cannot because I am from basic ones. We, we need to use uh, the method from the basic or we, we have another method? No, if they're asking, if the, let's say when you're going to work in the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. And then, because in the kitchen, they won't explain it to you. They will give this one to you, you have to memorize it. So when they say it's mainly dough, that means you say you don't need to use any mixer. You have to use it like your fingers, mm -hmm. use your fingers. But when they say uh, it's for fruit tarts, then you can use the creamy method. Use the mixer. Mix. It's in the kitchen, unless you are the own boss of your own bakery. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna go to work, especially in the big kitchen, every time they will shout at you, this one is wrong, this one is wrong, this one is wrong. Why you cannot do like that? So, sensitivity is very... You need to throw, out, throw that one out. Itabi mo. Itabi mo. You cannot be sensitive. You Itabi api away. And you cannot be like... Oh, I'm scolding you today. It doesn't mean I need to scold you the whole time. Right? Okay, sweet dough requires longer rest time between mixing, mixing, and roll up, and most difficult to handle. Crumb crust is made from crush, cooking, or other crumbs and butter used for cheesecakes or custard pie. You see those, like, sometimes we don't need to flatten all those uh, dough. We just need to crumb. Like, apple crumb oh, no, all. Egg tart. Crust are shaped by rolling out the dough to fit into a pie, pan, or tart shell, or to sit on top of the fillets. Work with thin flat surface like the dusted with flour. Too much flour makes the crust dry and crumbly. So now you know. Roll out the well chilled dough from the center. Crust can be peeled, then bake or bake unpeeled. 
brand bake, par bake, or free bake, and bean field. Brand bake, you know all those, some, when you're watching YouTube, you can see all those, like, stones? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? You have to put that there, that's what they call blind bake. Or if you don't have that stones, you can use beans. Not beans. <coughs> or you can just put another mm -hmm. type of shell <coughs> You know what's the reason why you need to put that? Yeah. Because when you're baking, right? Yeah. Sometimes your dough is <coughs> bulging. <Yeah. laughs> That's the progressive. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, feelings. Feelings make pies and tarts distinctive and flavorful, especially when it's um, chicken pie. Four types of pie. Feelings are discussed where there's one that is cream, fruit, uh, for fruit, we have the cooked fruit, cooked juice, baked fruit, and can be custard and savory. Savory, you can put like cheese, cheese pies, that can be savory. But for your cream, that, just the chantilly one, mm -hmm. just the cream. And put the fruits on top and put it to the or the icing sugar. Just like that. For fruit, you can do your sweet uh, strawberry puree. You can put inside. Like the one you did last week, the ganache or uh, blueberry ganache. Or juice as well, you can do. But you have to put some gelatin inside. And custard, you know how to do custard, right? Don't tell me you all forget my name. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, forget or yes, we know. Yes, we know. I'm going to bring you back to Gladys. No. Custard? Yeah. Custard is the. Uh, if you don't have uh, custard powder, you can use cornstarch and egg yolk, egg sugar, and milk. Yeah. And butter and then vanilla. But if you're using custard powder, don't need the egg yolk. Just the custard, custard powder. sugar, milk, and vanilla, and butter. See, butter is to give you a smooth and silky texture. I'm going to the bag and I'm going to Okay. And let's finish the tapping. Tapping comes with the for decoration purposes. And types of lattice we have to do. Double crust with dough. Full for full of lattice. Struza. You know lattice? Latte. You don't know the lattice. No, lattice is like, you know, like the, uh, when, uh, it's like the, it's like the, yeah, it's the decoration, it's like the, yeah, 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 the one we use for seeds, yeah, 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 but lattice is just like one strip, 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 one <laughs> Suggestions for assembling pies. You have your filling, crust, topping, and your garnish. For filling, you have vanilla or lemon. Uh, your crust, pre baked plain dough or crumb. The topping, uh, meringue or whipped cream. Garnish, crumb from the crust. I will just read out, okay? Oh, you, we just skip this one and you all read. We already yeah. read. Oh. I already read this one. Wow. 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 wow.
Shallow means shallow. <laughs> shallow means shallow. <laughs> Tapping. Lattice. Uh, lattice. Lattice, cold press, or naman? struza. Sending so, sugar. How to put it? Lattice. Hindi. Ito. Sorry. Struza. Struza. Struza is like the one. Oh, what um, up? One crust, then put some apple. 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 Uh, apple. Candied apple. Then another crust, then put some. Parang patong patong lang. Stressol. 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 And your topping, you can use lattice, whole crust, or struza. And for garnish, sundae, same, sundae sugar or cut out dough. Uh, cut out design if lattice or top crust is used. And for chiffon or mousse, this is the one we used last week. Remember? Last week? Yeah. When Sarah, you did the sponge, yeah. we put inside the tart. Yeah. This yes. Time. Most. And your crust must be crumb or pre-baked sweet and flaky dough. Tamping nut or big cream. Hindi ko din naman natin. Garnish, crust, food, or shaved chocolate. <laughs> and for the custard filling, we have our, cr our crust must be melly dough and it's unbaked. And tapping up to you. Garnish with cream or cinnamon. For vanilla pastry cream, pre-baked sweet dough, fresh fruits, and gar uh, glaze it after. You put your garnish, maybe you can do some strawberries. Lemon or citrus curd. Pre-baked sweet dough for your crust. Tapping, use the fresh fruits or any berries. And garnish, glaze Italian meringue. Italian meringue. I didn't know that tarts is so new. Yeah, Okay, storing your pies and tarts. Tarts can be coated with a shiny topping called glaze. It has I appeal protects from drying and reinforcing things. Okay, remember, we have our neutral glaze later if you want to see. And, uh, what's the other one? Apricot glaze. 
you can use that for your tights to make it more shiny after you bake. Mm. If you want it to more make uh, look like more appealing, <coughs> it's not shiny, appealing and uh, appealing and appetizing. Appetizing. <laughs> it's appetizing in your eyes that when once you look at it, you want it to be all. Okay. Oh, you can and for your fruits, you can use the apricot leaves to make it. Fresh. But don't eat oh, even if it's something that inside okay. the fridge. Meron just meron. brush it with the fillies. Meron sila. Look like fresh all the time. Si Chef Glad's meron. Kailangan ko yung sa mga sa tart. Sa tart? Of course, you have to wash it. Make up. 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 Oh, if you don't want your fruits to rotten so fast, before you put in the fridge after you bought from the store, wash it with vinegar and salt. Don't eat the soap. 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 Anong asa? Bun ka naman mo pang di. Because you're all wearing masks. Kasi nabun ako. Okay, pies and thighs. What's on the video? Most of the pies and tarts can be kept at room temperature for a day. Pies and tarts filled with cream or custard must be refrigerated to retard bacterial growth. Retard means not, don't allow your, uh, don't allow the bacteria to grow to your fruits. <laughs> Di ako yung Some of the pies and tarts can be stored in freezer before <laughs> after baking. Depend the type of your feeling. <laughs> okay, for convenience product, preform pie and tart shell are available in range of sizes and styles, book row and pre bake This one you can buy in the supermarket in the frozen section. Prepared pie, pie fillings are also available in a variety of fruit and custard flavors. Offering convenience, consistency, and an ability to serve fruits out of season. If you, so there's some fruits that is not available here in Singapore. It only can be bought only on outside. So if in season in there, we don't have here. And if you want that to eat that, you can just buy it from and eat the part with all those boxes. Shelf life, this. Feelings tends to be extremely low, often without the need for refrigeration. Okay, troubleshooting charts for your pies. For, uh, we have problem here, cause and your solution. If your crust shrinks, the cause of that, that means maybe over you overmix. You overwork your dough. Not and enough not fat. enough fat. That means you didn't put enough butter or <laughs> water. Oh uh, no, or shortening. Those and dough was stretched or ruled out incorrectly. And solution for that, adjust your maxi <laughs> technique, your rolling technique, adjust your formula for that for, uh, not enough fat, and improve your technique for your uh, dough was stretched or ruled incorrectly. Okay? Okay. For soggy crust, your cause is uh, wrong dough use. Yes. Ano soggy crust? Soggy. 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 Soggy sagi. Ano yung soggy? Soggy. Soggy means. Lata ba? Okay. Let's say for your pasta. Oh, your pasta. Lata. Okay. It's a dainty but yes. But since you are maybe making some bolognese pasta, and then you prepare already because you cook. Joan, ano, uh, the the is ready to eat. But then they said we cannot come now. Then you already prepared. So you put all the sauce in there. The pasta will soak up all the sauce and the water. So your pasta is al dente now. We have. Pero din pala nun sa pay. Yes. So give me. You put all. Pala ko sa makaroni. You put more liquid inside. Sa noodles lah yun na capable. <laughs> so you also can be put in your rice, you know, and so you yeah. becomes porridge. Oh, yeah. 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 Porridge na yun din na so <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for your wrong do use, you have to use more fat over the, over temperature too low, adjusting oven. Sometimes it happens when you are temperature for your oven. And not bake long enough, 
adjust your baking until it is too moist, adjust your formula. Okay? For crumbling, crumbly crust, you some put some put some L in there. Not Wala. enough liquid. Adjust your formula. Put and proper down. mixing. You have to adjust your formula as well. Not ah, enough crumbly. fat. Adjust your mixing technique. Kaya kada di ko makuha ko yan. Ito ba lang L? Hindi wow. Crumbly basa ko dito. Top crust. Your post for the top crust is not enough fat. You didn't put enough butter. Your solution, you have to adjust and add more. Over mixing. Adjust your mixing technique. Insufficient starch. Adjust your formula. Starch insufficiently cooked. You need to cook longer. Okay? And lumpy cream filling. Starch not incorporated properly. Lumpy. 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 Yeah. Lumpy. 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 Means when you're adding gelatin or starch inside. Then. Yeah. It's not enough. You have to blend your starch with sugar before adding your liquid. It's like tempering. Right, Joanne? Preparing your um, <laughs> okay, your filling is overcooked. Adjust your cooking time. Faster, uh, for your faster filling, whips or separated. Your cost for that is too many eggs. Eggs overcooked. And solution: reduce your egg content or add starch to the filling, and reduce oven temperature or baking time. Don't put too much of Egg. Otherwise, we smell like eggs. Okay, we go for our piti po. Piti po and macaroon. Macaroon. Piti po. Piti po. There's no P and R. Piti po. Piti po. May S naman yun ba? Piti po. Piti po. Nga may S daw yun. Piti po. Okay, they are any type of pastry small enough to be consumed one or two mouthfuls, and they are also called friendes or mayonnaises, and classified into different types. Piti full standard should be be not more than one or two, not two bites. Be not more than one point five to two inches. Or the 3.7 to 5 cm height. That means your height cannot reach 2 cm, uh, 2 inches. And it's not also, let's say just 1.3, maybe. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 
Okay, type mo, 54. Classification. Dry 54. That is for cookies and your biscuit. And your dakwa. Yeah, dakwa. Ice 54. Sponge or biscuit filled with ganache or butter cream and ice with fondant or chocolate. Oh, ito po lang yun. Glaze fruits. Any kind of fruit coated with chocolate. Cooked sugar, water glaze. You see in Taiwan, their fruits is coated with sugar. So that is considered their cooking. And from the glaze department. Okay? Strawberries also, you can make like the wedding one. The tuxedo. You can decorate that chocolate, white chocolate on that. Fresh pretty food. Fresh pretty food. Reduction of pastry items. And I want pretty food. The most common one is your macaroon. If you're going for diploma next year, then we can bake all the macaroon. Hindi ko pa na try. Ako tiyo pa para sa year. Hindi ay minsa ba? Sabi niya next year magdiploma ka. Okay. Types of pretty food. Dry pretty food. This one is dry cookies baked at low temperature for a long time. It's not there, I think. And it's also called as pretty food set. Means small, dry, and oven cake. Small and dry. Okay. You don't need to worry about all those French. Just memorize. Uh, just read it. If you if you really want to learn this book, yeah, it helps you. Yeah, it will help you. You know. But remember, two thousand twenty-two. ดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาดูดวงมาด
It's not actually Joko, it's Zupun. It's like Z. But I'm not French, that's why it's difficult for me. I split it for should the whole uh should the should hold the layers together with when immersing the cakes in melted fondant or chocolate coating. Example the small eclairs or the tartlets. Okay, glazed, glazed fruits, also called as fruit candies or fruit degays. They are made from small, fresh or dried fruits. Example. An example for that, strawberry glaze, kumquat, mandarin or orange, dry apricot, and dip into caramel, sugar, heavy syrup, or Kumquat, uh, yeah, it's the fruit, but it looks like plum actually. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go in NTUC. Yeah, but not all the time you can see the kumquat in NTUC. Yeah, but it looks like plum. Yeah, it's favorite. Yeah, it's favorite. Yeah, it's favorite. Yeah, it's favorite. Like orange, right? Orange color. Yeah. It's not bad. Fresh pitipo are moist many chores of pastry items also called bitter dishes. Example, mini tarts, mini shoe paste, mini cakes. Garins, this one. Garins is a small thick glass container to hold your solid or liquid dish. You know, when sometimes when you go to restaurants, they will serve you. They will serve you the small glass like. Oh, why they serve this one like mm -hmm. glass for vodka? Maybe yeah, yeah, shot glass. Yeah, shot glass. Shot glass. Shot glass. But actually, it's your uh, type of city food. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Chinese food as well. They use that for serving. That you know, <laughs> chopstick and the spoon, the chopstick and the bread. And for the preparation, we have city food and reduction of traditional pastries and like entremets or tarts you know entremets no the small ones small ones the small cakes that is covered with mirror glaze and moose <laughs> Especially for the hygiene, the breakage, compatibility, example, the glass and spoon. If you're glass, there's a crack. Okay? Because once you, uh, your guests will drink from that and then they suddenly cut their lips. Okay, your jerbar macaroon. Biscuit is made by soft meringue or Italian meringue mix, mixed with PTP. PTP means four tan four. Huh? Four times four. Four? Four times four. That means equal amounts of your almond powder, uh, almond flour, the ground almonds, four and four. the size of uh, the amount of your icing sugar. Huh? If four it's 500, it's spelling. No spelling, no chef. Tan, four tan. PTP, PTP. <laughs> P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-R-P-O-
Maybe you can go to Jukun. Jukun. <laughs>